introduce you to a father who turned his anger and anguish into advocacy after going through a life-altering mental health crisis with his son. Tonight, we continue our year-long mental health series, You're Not Alone. Our focus in February is on the mental health hurdles in the minority community. And this was his senior year. He's catching a touchdown just as he crossed the goal line. Oh, yeah. Kevin Fisher's rec room in Plymouth is lined with posters of his oldest son Dominique's athletic achievements in football, this baseball, poster. and basketball. Also, I'm really grateful that we took so much video and we took pictures and those kinds of things because for the most part, I can look back on his life and there are happy thoughts. Troubling thoughts began creeping in back in 2007 when Dominique was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Dominique didn't choose it. Dominique didn't wake up November of 2007 and say, I want to play crazy. I want to drop out of life. I want to be a burden on society. Over the next three years, Dominique suffered from a deepening depression, causing Kevin to eventually quit his six-figure job to take care of his son full-time. Took him to therapy four days a week, made sure he took his medication. But then at the age of 23, Dominique hit a roadblock in his recovery. The barrier came when friends and family found out about his diagnosis. And there were people who said, don't let anybody tell you you're crazy. Don't take that medication. You don't know what's in it. Kevin says black America has a long standing mistrust of the medical system and strongly rejects the idea of mental illness. And in the African American community, you're not going to tell me I'm crazy. In early 2010, Dominique stopped taking his prescribed medication and began self medicating with alcohol and marijuana. He said, Dad, I would rather people think I'm high than for them to know that I take medication for mental illness. Three months later, Kevin got the call he was dreading. I was standing in line in Macy's buying him some clothes at the time, and I got the call, and it was, it's over. Yeah. The end of Dominique's life changed the course of Kevin's. After going through a year of depression, even planning out his own suicide, Kevin turned to a support group that included parents who were also coping with losing a child to suicide. And there were times that I would mention that I lost my son to suicide and people would, you know, yeah. kind of shy away. Yeah. But that didn't happen at NAMI. NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, the nation's largest grassroots mental health organization helping people cope with mental illness. Kevin went from volunteering at the Michigan chapter in Lansing to becoming its statewide director in 2014. His mission was simple. It became trying to prevent the next Dominique. And part of that meant trying to convince the minority community that mental illness doesn't discriminate. Mental illness is not a choice. It's not a weakness of faith or character. Mental illness is a medical diagnosis. It's a chemical imbalance in the brain. It's not your fault. And he wears his sentiment on his shirt. Everybody versus stigma. And we eliminate the stigma by normalizing the conversation. And we're in the stigma busting business. Printing them in his basement, Kevin has turned thousands of people into walking billboards. Wearing one on a shopping trip to a local Meyer proved his point. We eliminate stigma by creating conversation. And one lady stopped me and she said, what's stigma? And I explained in this case, because stigma has a broad you know, right. um, definition. But I said, in this case, I said, I'm a mental health and suicide prevention advocate. And as soon as I said something about mental illness, she said, oh, I got a nephew. And as she and I were talking, another passerby heard me mention something about suicide prevention. Long story short, in about 10 minutes, we had a crowd of about 20 people standing around me. We blocked two checkout lanes. And I told my wife, I said, this was the intent um, that I was seeking. And if you need to get the conversation going and talk to someone about mental illness, we have a link to the National Alliance on Mental Illness at WILX.com. A cloudy and mild first day.